Hey guys, it's that dude with the beard. And today, I decided to get rid of future Gohan. He's been around for quite a while, but he seems a little tired out. He's not really working out. I mean, let's face it, some of my emotions future Gohan doesn't even display. So, instead, I'm replacing him with Alexis Rhodes from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. If Mr. Firebird can have a busty female character, then so can I, goddammit. Okay, aside from the avatar change, I am going to be doing a commentary on a relatively young girl who decided to make a rant about cyberbullies. But, because she's a little girl, she doesn't know the correct term is trolling. Hello, it's Quietals88 again. I am still very upset with these stupid sicko cy cyberbullies because they need to get a life you low-life sickos. Because there's a bunch of these cyberbullies out there. And they're just looking to get attention in the wrong way. If you want to get good attention, you might as well make some friends. And I doubt that's gonna happen at the pace you're keeping at. That goes for 82k Sniper and... F you know, name-dropping these cyberbullies, or trolls as some people call them, they will usually feel very obligated to make a response, not just in a hurtful way, but to feel more victorious about what they've done. Because what they're looking for is a rise, and they got one out of you. So, just letting you know, that's usually what they're trying to do. Anime 3, they're both low-life sickos that have no life and are complete losers. That's what they call anime fans. I have no intention of being a loser. If Since you call me a loser, I don't really care. Because personally, I don't agree that I'm a loser. Neither are- If you don't fucking care, then why make the video? It is obvious to anyone who's watching it that you do have a problem with it. And besides, is it really that hard to understand that this is what they do? Who gives a fuck if they're calling you losers? It's not that big of a deal. There's this thing called ignoring them, which you could do very easily. Are any of my friends? You told Crazy Waffle 12 to go shoot herself? That's not right. I mean, dude, that is just not okay. You do not go tell someone to, oh, go shoot yourself, or, oh, go F yourself. Seriously, if you've been on YouTube for as long as you say you have been on, then you should know at least some trolling attempts and you'd realize that that was a standard trolling comment. It's not that difficult to discern what the fuck they are. Okay, I guess since you are a kid you know completely, but then again, even when I first started out on YouTube, or at least my old account, I knew what trolling was and I still got trolled. But you know what? I didn't give two shits, and I still don't. You, you ugly beep. They said I'm ugly. I don't care. Once again, the quality of this camera is very poor. In all seriousness, you're just a kid. You shouldn't worry if people call you ugly. You still have to grow up. But I think the real problem that I think you have with your camera is not the camera itself. It's the lighting. That window really makes everything else seem darker. So if there is one thing you should work on, it's definitely the lighting in your room. So I would like you all to stop cyberbullying kids all around the world, and I don't think it's right. I am going to stick up for everyone who is being cyberbullied on the internet, because I don't think it's right. And if you're being cyberbullied, bullied, you can come to me and... <laughs> okay, I'll admit, while I do find that kind of funny that you're trying to take them on, to be fair, you can't fight them. Despite what you may think, these quote-unquote cyberbullies aren't going to listen to just one person, and having more people come to you isn't going to help either, because we've already had the troll busters, and we know how terrible they worked out. <laughs> whatever, I'll just try to... I'm not good, whatever. I'm not good at like telling people to stop, because, because they, they're not going to stop. <laughs> if I tell them to stop, they won't stop. They're just going to keep on cyberbullying people. And I don't think this is right. So this video is about stop 
in the cyberbullying. And I am not happy with it. You know, once you admit that you know you can't stop them, and yet you're still going to continue this crusade, it doesn't prove that you're right, no no. It proves that you're butthurt. Something that is going to happen a lot on the internet and in real life. And you need to understand these things before you continue on with this crusade. Although, I think you have experienced it enough, judging from the comments you leave on people's videos. Neither are a bunch of other people. You all are low-life sickos that just find that just find fun in bullying kids on the internet. I don't think that's right. I mean, you do not go and go cyber bully some kid that doesn't even know you and you say, "Oh, you suck," because you stalk them first, and then you go see what they like, and they're like, "Oh God, they like this." I'm going to go post this random mean comment saying that they suck. If you really knew the person. You need to get to know the person first to judge them. You look to be about 12, maybe 14 at the most. Why do I bring this up, you might ask? Simple. There are kids like Alec Tess One, Ricky Familia, Sonic's Little Helper, Michael's iCast, who are all at least younger than you and acted very immaturely. They got trolled pretty bad, and look what happened to them. You, on the other hand, are going about it the complete wrong way by fighting back. That is a bad idea. Since you all don't know me very well, like, you shouldn't be bullying me. I mean, that's just not right. I will stick up for myself. I will do that. And I will stick up for my friends, too. I will have none of this. None of this. I am done with you sickos. Enough. I'm, I'm just not happy. You people need to stop cyberbullying now. Here's a little pro tip. You should stop calling people sickos because it's not proving that you're right. It's proving that you didn't script. And since you didn't script, you have no idea what you're talking about, thus repeating yourself, which you have numerous times throughout this, well, rant of yours. If anything, and this is just my personal two cents, you should have done some research about cyberbullying, or at least looked up the word troll. It's not that difficult to discern these types of things, but for some odd reason, it is for you. Because if you keep cyberbullying, you're, you're going to be banned from YouTube. Is that what you want? You want to be banned from YouTube? Well, probably you just create the account to go cyberbully. YouTube is no safe haven. Despite what you may think, they don't look over each individual channel. The only way that you can stop the cyberbullying, God, I hate that word, is if you, oh, I don't know, block them, which probably won't work since they'll probably come back with another account, or you could make your own alternate account. Usually, that works a lot better than the first option, because that way they'll think you are getting, you know, but hurt. But it's obvious that you're not. It's that easy. But if you want to do the more, you know, dramatic route, you can always just rage quit because that works well with so many people. Kids, that's why you create the account. And if you realize all your videos have most are mostly dislikes. One of F Anime 3's old videos it said seven likes, but it had 66 dislikes. Figures, because there's so many people out there who like anime. This argument never fails to amuse me. Who gives a fuck about likes or dislikes? If you enjoy your own content, then that's great. But if your subscribers like your content, then that's even better. How do you know that the subscribers don't like their content? Or maybe it's because of the fact that you don't agree with them that that makes you feel better about yourself. My guess is the second one. Even if they don't like anime, they probably disliked it because you're discriminating against people who do like it, and they probably think that's wrong. So, just stop now. I've had enough of the cyberbullying. If you do it one more time, I, I'm just going to keep on making videos until you guys stop. I've had enough of the cyberbullying. So stop it, and if you, if you go tell my friends to do 
like, to do something, like, to, if you go cyberbullying my friend. You do realize that this video is six minutes long, and it feels like it's been about 15 minutes for me. You're just rambling on and repeating yourself. This is why scripting is optimal for having a good video. Oh, and by the way, if I wanted to hear the same points over and over again, I would have just gone to the last girl I commented on. We all know how that turned out. I am going to get on my bad side. I have a bad side. This is not even my bad side. I can get worse. A lot. I can go insane if you want me to. If you're, if you're just going to keep on cyberbullying, I'm going... I've had enough. Just stop it now. And if you do it one more time, you don't want to know what's going on. You making more videos and getting angrier does not help your stance. It just makes you an easier target. You really need to think about these things before you just jump to a conclusion. For instance, you could have easily have just not made this video, or better yet, you couldn't have cared. But unfortunately, you did. It's going to happen. Because I've had enough, enough. Everybody who wants to stick up for themselves, don't be shy. Make a video saying that you've had enough of the cyberbullying. I am serious. Don't be shy. That goes for you, Crazy Waffle 12. Make a video. Because if you don't think this is right, then go ahead, make a video. Because I'm not afraid of doing this. I am so upset at these people cyberbullying everyone. Look, it's understandable that you're upset. The problem is that it's obvious you're too young to be having these things being said to you. My advice to you is to just grow up. Go out and just enjoy life for a couple of more years and then come back to YouTube. It's not going to go anywhere. And hell, you could become a much better video maker, which is always a good thing, in my opinion. And the comments people have been leaving on my videos in my channel, I am not happy with. I've had enough of you low-life sickos and you low-life cunts who... I'm just so upset. You need to get a life. I mean, if you're just going to keep on cyberbullying all these kids... I'm sorry, but I've... I've had enough. I've had enough. I will keep on making videos to get you all to stop. Until I have a thousand something even. I will not quit. I will not quit now. I will keep on going. I won't give up. And with a relatively well delivered monologue, the video just sort of ends, I guess. What I can say is that, well, she seems devoted, but that's not going to help her at all. In fact, it's going to hurt her in the long run. The devotion she shows to making these videos and trying to stop all these cyber bullies, well, when this was actually on her channel at least, isn't going to help her. It's going to make her more of a target. Despite being a kid, as well as making those videos, you also have another problem entirely. Some people are generally going to dis well, not like your opinions, and it's better to understand this now before going on to a much wider array of people. And yes, I have watched some of your other videos, and you're not that bad. You're just a little young for YouTube as all, well, and I think if you just gained a little bit more life experience, you'd be good. Well, I guess this is that do with the beard signing up, and well, I also have to say, I love this new avatar.